Did you know that Windows 11 has some hidden features that can significantly boost your productivity and improve your experience? Many users are unaware of the full potential of Windows 11, often sticking to the basic functionalities and missing out on the powerful tools. In this video, we're gonna uncover six secret features of Windows 11 that everyone should know about. And we're gonna go through what each of these features does and how to use them to their fullest potential. Oh, and make sure to stick around to the end when I reveal my favorite feature. If you use your laptop for school or work, you rarely have only one active window open on your computer at a time. Usually there's a minimum of two of them up and running, and sometimes, if you're a multitasking crazy nut like me, they could be up to 20 or 50. Having all these windows open is great for increasing productivity, but let's be honest, they can also be a headache to manage. And there will be times when you want to focus on a single window, so you have to go through the tedious process of minimizing all the other ones one at a time. Fortunately, Windows 11 has a nifty feature called the Title Bar Window Shake, which makes minimizing multiple windows quick and easy. So to enable the Title Bar Window Shake setting, I'm going to come down to Search, type in Settings, and after that I'm going to navigate to the System setting. Scroll down to multitasking and enable the title bar window shake setting and close out. Now you can give it a try. Just grab a hold of the title bar of the window you want to stay open and give it a little shake. All the other windows will automatically swoop down onto the taskbar and out of your way. If you shake the active window again, they'll all pop right back up. If you didn't already know, Windows 11 includes a narrator that reads and interacts with whatever you have displayed on your computer. This accessibility feature can come in handy for visually impaired users and in situations where you prefer to listen instead of read the content on the screen, say like an email, uh, a document, post a blog, and so, and so on. Here's how to set it up. Going back down into the settings, then we're going to come down to Accessibility and scroll down to Narrator. Now, if you haven't set this up for the first time, you're going to turn on the Narrator button. Narrator dialogue. Skip for now. And you're going to hear a computer voice. I'm just going to go ahead and hit Narrator Install now. And it's going to automatically install the natural voices. So once it does that, which is usually pretty quick, I can come down here to add. Choose a connection required. And I'm going to select a couple here. Uh, I'm going to click on Sonia, Natural, United Kingdom. Download okay. progress status, 0%. And again, it's going to narrate everything that's going on until I change it. Cancel. Progress status, 100%. All right, there we go. Add natural voices group. Now again, this is a great feature for someone who may be visually impaired or uh, have some kind of disability that limits their um, computer use. So again, if this isn't something you would use, just go ahead and turn it off. Exiting narrator. And that's all there is to that. You can maximize your copy paste routine with the Windows clipboard history. True to its name, the clipboard history is essentially a log that keeps track of all the things that you've copied since turning on your computer until you restart or shut it down. It can store plain text and the images that you've copied and screen captured. The great thing about the clipboard history is that you can paste the same item repeatedly even after copying the new content. So no need to return to the source and copy it again. To enable the clipboard history, press and hold the Windows and V key at the same time. This will open up the Windows Clipboard History dialog box. If this is the first time you've used it, you'll see a box down here that says Turn On. So I've got two Word documents up, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy things like I normally would. And I'm going to paste them. I'm going to grab some things here. Control V. Now when I hit the Windows V button, I'm going to see all the things that I've been copying. 
Nice little history right there. The option I have is that I don't have to go back to the source and recopy anything. I can click where I want to put something, use the control V, and I can click on that image again. Bring up control V. I can click on that. Now, if I want to pin something, pin something that I have copied previously, I can hit this little pin button down here. And what that's going to do is it's going to keep it in memory even after I shut down or restart the computer. Additionally, what I can do is bring up my clipboard and I can delete items that I no longer want. Or I can clear the entire contents of the clipboard history. The game bar is an overlaid toolbar featuring utilities gamers would typically use. To show the game bar, simply press the Windows G key on the keyboard and you'll be presented with a series of widgets. You can customize these widgets and move them around however you like. Some of the widgets that you'll get are the audio, performance, which will show you various performance metrics, CPU, your GPU, VRAM, FPS for gaming, and so forth. This widget is important if you want to know why your computer is lagging or you just want to know the health and performance of your device. The screen capture widget will show you screen captures that you've, you've created or saved. You can also see a list of them in a gallery, but right now I don't have any. Another feature is the Xbox Social. Now this would take additional setup, but you can actually sign into your Xbox and you can use the free voice chat and mobility that the Xbox offers. So sometimes you could run into some minor issues with your computer, whether it's the Wi-Fi disconnecting or the camera refusing to open. Instead of jumping right to Google to look for a quick fix, you can use the built-in troubleshooters first. Windows troubleshooters can help you diagnose different hardware and software issues and get recommended solutions. To access the available troubleshooters under Windows 11, we're going to go to Settings, over to System, and scroll down to Troubleshoot, and click on Other Troubleshooters. So again, depending on the issue that you're having, this is a great resource to start with, whether it's video playback, cameras, Bluetooth, and so forth. Typing on your keyboard is all fun and games until you're faced with a very long document and it quickly becomes a boring chore you'd prefer to skip out on. Or in my case, a couple years ago when I was faced with shoulder surgery and couldn't really type with my right hand, Windows Dictation became my favorite feature. Windows offers a quicker and more convenient way to type on your computer using your voice. The Windows Speech Dictation feature converts spoken words into text so you can write reports, emails, and other documents all hands-free. Here's how to use the voice typing dictation on Windows 11. First, make sure you're connected to the internet and have a working mic. Place the cursor in a text box, either in a document, notepad, search bar, or whatever you have. Then press the Windows H key on the keyboard to bring up the Microsoft Speech Services. This is how to use the Microsoft Windows Voice Typing Dictation, period, new line. If I accidentally make a mistake, erase that. I can start over again delete that. I can pause dictation just by saying pause dictation. If I want to start again, I can just click the button there to start listening again. As you can see, it takes some getting used to, but once you get the hang of it, it is very, very useful. So to wrap up, we've highlighted the top six secret features that can transform your Windows 11 experience. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite feature was 
And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons so you're alerted when new Windows tips and tricks videos like this are posted. Thanks for watching.